Hi everyone and welcome back to Alejandro HD. And today I thought I would talk about Downfall. When you think about different war films, you think like Save It Private Ryan, Platoon, uh, The Pianist, Schindler's List, things like that. Film like uh, really a uh, full metal jacket, just like epic war films uh, sort of fall under like that sort of list. And to me, those films are great. Those films are really good, and you know there's there's other war films as well, but to me, Downfall was probably one of my favourite war films. I thought that, above all, it gave a very different picture to what we usually see, especially with um, most films have like a a union, a band of brothers, you know, like for example, Saving Private Ryan. American soldiers trying to find Private Ryan, um, and then some have more individual fights and battles, like uh, the pianist uh, Adrian Brody's character, like the Polish guy struggling to survive, and so on. And you kind of root for those characters. You're like, oh, I really want these guys to do well. And then you watch the, you know, watch Downfall. And you're kind of like, well, you don't really root for Hitler in any. In any stretch of the imagination, you don't do that. You know, he's a, you, you, we all know exactly what type of guy this was. But to see him in this very vulnerable state, to see him in this in this really unique sort of un like filtered way, and also from like because obviously this is based. In, I wouldn't say true story, but it's it's more from like the perception of or perception 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 of um, the secretary. You know her. You know her retellings of what actually happened during sort of the last few years of the war. I thought that was a really interesting thing. And download at uh, download <laughs> downfall. Sorry, downfall feels like it's more of a almost like a documentary, in my opinion. Like we see, very like you know the very real struggle of Hitler and and like how, you know his his, oh, the 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 inner circle started to work against them, like they seen the war was was over, you know they, they were not winning that war by any stretch of the imagination, but we saw Hitler's downfall. We saw him you know fall from from grace from this like man who had a lot of ideas had a lot of political ideologies, all of which were wrong, of course, but to see that from where he was to you know, like you know, historically how we how we learn about him in school and, and you know, what we see of him in like National Geographic and the History Channel documentaries and all that sort of stuff, to actually seeing how he is portrayed in downfall as this guy who's just, you know, losing the plot and um, he's not really willing to see that. I think that's a really, really hu human look um, that we get to see of Hitler as sort of main generals, uh, like guys like Red Grobels and um, Goring and uh, Himmler, uh, all, all these, all these like guys who were supposed to be very, very close to them, and we also see their struggles because I think a lot of people forget that. There was like a massive war going on, but there was also like individual little things happening too, and this all sort of built up. Um, and I think I, I really, I really like Downfall is probably one of my top top felt war films, and I, I'm a massive history buff and I love war films. Um, so I have some notes here, as always. And I just wanted to go through a few things. I I've recently rewatched it, and I sort of took some notes down there. Um, one of my favourite parts of it, Downfall was. Actually, the the subplot with the doctor, um, I can't quite remember, I can't recall his name. Uh, the doctor, the baldy guy, he showed a very different side to how Nazis were. Like, obviously, Nazis were horrible and evil and bad. Uh, but even though he was a Nazi, he was still a doctor, and he still had a, a you know, a, an oath to his patients to what he swore against and, and how he was supposed to portray himself and there was I was I loved that I loved that little like little sub story that we had with him like, we obviously had Hitler doing his thing and blah 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 but we also had the doctor and he was really 
uh, just just wanting to save people and you know all that sort of stuff. I really, I just really, I really love that about that. So that was a, that was a big positive for me. Of course, it was. Um, I felt the casting was amazing. The guy who uh, Bruno Gans, I think he's actually passed away um, a couple of years ago now. Uh, but Bruno Gans was a really, really good portrayal of Hitler, which is a really, really hard thing to say. <laughs> you know, like, I think it's, it's one of these ones where you're like, well done for playing the worst guy ever, uh, you know. But kudos to him. And also the guy who played Grobbles as well. Like, the way that he got that, the the face, the, the, the different mannerisms. And also Himmler was really, really good. All, all the actors who played different characters, really, really well done. I really appreciated the, the casting was really put together. You know, we, I've wrote down here like I thought things like um, the costumes, like you know, all of that was on point. It was all very, very um, authentic. Uh, sometimes you'll see like things that might not quite match up in different films, but this one was 100% authentic. Nothing I could see that um, was maybe in, inaccurate. Uh, maybe there's some people that would be like, oh no, that tank wasn't around until this time. Okay, but you know, but most of the stuff I believe, uh, from what I watched and what I know from World War Two, was accurate. Uh, I also put down here, you know, download, we, down, down, I keep saying down, downfall. Uh, we know that it's purely, uh, you know, there's a lot of like viral stuff when it comes to the parodies and all that. But you know, it's much more than that. And I've, I, I was a big fan of the Hitler rant parodies. And I saw actually the Hitler rant parodies before I watched Downfall, and that gave me a bit of a different, different view of the film. Uh, and then I was I was really I remember the first time I watched it, I was like really excited to see the scene. You know what is this going to actually really be about? Because I mean I do know a little bit of German from learning it at school and like learning phrases and stuff, but to actually see it like and how it's supposed to be with the real subtitles is actually a really really like really powerful scene and there's a lot of emotion there and there's a lot of stuff happening like that's like a few months before it all absolutely goes completely wrong for 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 germany in the war and you forget that when you're watching a funny a funny video like oh hitler rant parodies uh, but it's actually quite a serious situation and um i'd remembered i was reading the critics review on it and it was like oh uh or was a critic or a different opinion of it like the bunker was was a lot more quieter than than what was portrayed in the film but we know from Heidi Trudel I think her name was the secretary the one who was chosen by Hitler at the very start of the film and the one who actually done a little bit of an interview before the film she this is her recount of what happened so I think I think for me I would believe what comes out of the horse's mouth quite literally over what someone else would say I mean I'm not entirely sure how it's, I, I know it's. I know it has to be dramatised for film, but I think there would be a lot of truth in what we've seen. And we also know that she was close with Ava Braun as well, and there was like that uh, camaraderie between uh, the the secretary, the other character. I think she may have been the cook, Frau. Um, I can't remember her name, but the, the one who was a chef, and then Ava and uh, Heidi. Heidi, I think her name was Heidi Trudel. I think. And, you know, them three together, there was a like, little subplot there, the subplot with the Doctor, and of course the main plot with Hitler. And then what else I really enjoyed about Downfall was the fact that even after Hitler had killed himself, there was still a lot of film left to be done. And we had, um, I can't quite remember his name, the sort of second in command, or third in command Hitler, and his adjutants and all them, going to meet the Russians and the truths and all that sort of stuff, and then the secretary going with the little boy. And then there was a, like the Hitler Youth kids and stuff as well. There was a lot. There was a really. There was a lot to take in with this film, and I like. I just think it's it's such a masterpiece. It really is. Um, I think that's really everything I had to say about it. Yeah, and just the mental state. I've put I put a lot about about there. Like we see, and Bruno Gans. I've already said Bruno Gans does an amazing job of of portraying. Hitler's mental state, like he was not well, like he was talking about, in the film he's talking about like invading oil fields and he's got all these like troops that he's made up in his head and all that sort of stuff and he's got his shaking of his hand, like he's got his um, 
I mean, I think they're, I think they're trying to portray him as, as having some sort of shell shock or something like that. And these sort of things, little gestures, little little things that he does, really make the film feel, like I say, hum human and personal. And yeah, I just I just really love it. It's, it's a just in all sense of the sense of the word. I give it a nine out of ten. I'm not sure why I wouldn't give it a ten, but probably. Um, I can't really give Nazis a ten out of ten. It's one of these one. It's one of these ones where it's, like, you kind of don't root for anyone in the film because they you know, they, they were on the, the they were the bad guys. And we were always taught to believe that those were the bad guys growing up, and especially, especially in Britain. And then we see, you know, the last days, the last years of Hitler, and his and his sort of and his downfall, and you know, in his in the way that he just spirals out completely and it's a really interesting take and it's very different from like a normal war film with guys shooting each other and blowing up things and all that sort of stuff so yeah so 9 out of 10 very very good film and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed that one uh i'm gonna try and do some sort of thing where i do sort of films tv and then anime sort of mix it in together just to see what you guys like and uh, yeah just keep watching and hope you're enjoying and i'll see you in the next one cheers